Creating a basic or front and back card in Anki is very simple. So we'll see here that I'm in the browse view. I'm going to go to the top and click add to add a new card. I'm going to make sure by clicking in the type field that I'm selecting a basic note type to make a basic front and back card. And we'll see that when I select that we have a front and back. I'm also just going to make sure that this card is going to be added to the deck that I want it to, so to sub deck one. Now you can type in the front and back of the card, so this is the question of the front and an answer on the back. Uh, and Anki also has a number of formatting tools that you can use. If you have a look over here on the right hand side of the add window, so if I could, for instance, bold and underline that piece of text, perhaps add some color to it. Um, color can be particularly useful in your answers. Uh, if you have a chunk of text, uh, it, it is often useful to highlight key words in that text so that when you're coming back and you're studying the card, um, you can check the answer very quickly just by scanning over those key words. So I then go uh, down to the bottom, make sure I've added any tags against the card that I might want to use in future. And I'll then just click add. And you'll notice what's happened is that the front and back information has disappeared, but it's kept the tag information along the bottom. So this is an efficient way of making multiple cards. I can then go ahead and make the next card in my set um, without having to add a different tag if I don't want to. Once I'm finished, I can just close. You'll see that the card has been added to my list of cards for that particular deck. And I can preview it if I want to see what it's going to look like uh, when I get it presented to me in my study. Uh, before I finish up this clip, I wanted to show you what a uh, reverse basic card looks like. So I can add another card. I'm just going to select the reverse option for basic here. And I'll pretend we're ent uh, entering a, a definition style card. So this would be the term in this case, and then, then this would be the definition. Again, I'd add my tag if I wanted to, and then I'm going to go add. I'm going to close out of here, and you'll see what's happened is it's actually created two cards for me. So I've only I made one card, but it's created two. And if I go and preview that, it's going to show me on the first card the term and then present me with the definition. Uh, but it's also created another card which presents me with the definition first and then asks me for the term. So as I mentioned in an earlier clip, these can be really useful for your glossary style questions.